Hello everyone. I'm here representing the chemistry faculty from the Lucknow Public College at Jopping Road branch. And today I'm here to discuss the strategies for your semester 2 examination which are somewhere lined up to be held in the month of March or April. But before we go to the strategies discussion, I just want that everyone should wipe out all the negative vibes from their mind. Means you have given recently the semester 1 examination, everybody must be having some mixed bag of feelings. Some of you must have done very nice, some of you have done some silly mistakes and you might be regretting. And now the negative feeling will, must be that I am very tensed, I can't do it. So the positive auto suggestion should be applied and that positive auto suggestion says yes we can do it, we will do it. We will be the winners. We will increase definitely our volume of our board mark sheet in a very beautiful manner as we have expected. So whatever mistakes you have done in semester one, you are knowing. So you are the one who has made the mistake. You are the one who has to find the solution to overcome these mistakes and do your semester two examination well. The most important thing is to analyze First thing for the examination is the mode of the examination. Definitely your examination will be 99% offline. 1% if it is online. Now we all are well versed with the online examination. There should not be any problem. In past two years, we all are well trained of writing these online examinations. Your semester two syllabus, 50% bifurcation is already there on the council website. If I talk about chemistry, then there are two chapters in physical chemistry which they have taken. One is your chemical kinetics and the other one is surface chemistry. Chemical kinetics, when we say it covers both the quantitative and the qualitative approach. You should be well versed with the theory part as well as the numericals. Because this is the only numerical chapter and a very scoring chapter in the board examination. Surface chemistry, if I say it is more application based chapter where there are no reactions, there are no numericals, it's only theory which covers your thought based questions. Then coming to inorganic chemistry, we have again two chapters, D and F block elements and your coordination compounds. If we pick up our previous board papers, we will find that your coordination compound has always been the most powerful uh, question bank chapter in your inorganic part. It covers the maximum marks. Again, this is a very wide chapter which has got different topics. Your IUPAC nomenclature. Now, when I say IUPAC nomenclature, please don't get confused with the organic part. Here, the valency chart is entirely different what we have done in class 10. It is related to your cationic complex, to your anionic complex. Then comes the calculation of oxidation number, the calculation of coordination number, then the isomerism and the crystal field theory. So it is covering a wide range from the qualitative to the quantitative part. DNA block elements, if I talk about, it is purely reasoning based chapter. Every year, the board questions, if you pick up, once you will practice, you will find that there are ample number of reasoning questions which have been asked on DNF block elements. Coming to organic, you have got aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acids and organic contain compounds containing nitrogen. These two chapters when we are talking about, they cover the name reactions, the chemical tests, the conversions. The other two chapters, they are again application based biomolecules and chemistry in everyday science. These are the two self-explanatory chapters. So, by discussing the various credibilities of these chapters, my idea was to tell you that you have to analyze that what is the difficulty level of these chapters. Just don't prepare only one kind of questions. You need to prepare the thought-based questions, the reasoning questions, the quantitative questions, qualitative questions, you have to analyze, you have to divide every topic of the chapter and prepare. And for that, 
council has already uploaded the specimen paper on the council website various publications have already come up with the specimen papers to give you a proper practice so you need to now plan yourself make a timetable for yourself because it is not only chemistry which you have to study there are various other subjects which you need to prepare divide your time slot your examinations are expected somewhere in the mid march or april so just make a deadline that maybe by 10th of march i have to finish the entire syllabus for semester 2 and then whatever time is given to you as a gift from the council as per the date sheet which they will be publishing use that time slot in again with the thorough revision for all the subjects so that when you are writing your paper you are confident you should have a positive vibe that yes we can do it remember one thing children this will be a subjective examination whether it is your theoretical aspect or your practical aspect or the quantitative analysis everything will be a step marking it will be a step marking where you will be given marks on steps so it will be something very scoring whatever you have missed in semester 1 you can easily do it in semester 2 one guru mantra i will always uh, love to give to my students is that you need to be the masters of your minutes the day you learn the technique of time management i am sure you will never fail in any of the field i hope this session was fruitful for you it will help you to prepare well for your semester 2 examination best of luck for the upcoming examinations thank you